time to do a repair. Time to do a repair and we got all the stuff we need. I'm borrowing the homeowner's tractor. Coronavirus 2022, folks. Y'all be safe out there. This job's down here in the power line right away. Probably the hardest part about getting here, or doing it, is gonna be getting there. So we got 280 volts DC. This sucker's under load. This is an AC disconnect. Just wondering if it's gonna arc when I hit it. Nope. That's good. Oh look, still, still got 270 volts. That's comforting. So you guys saw this in our other video where we talk about all the problems. This one's got plenty. So we're just gonna go ahead and take all this out and fix everything. This is really comforting. I'm not sure what we got here. Well, he ran out of M he ran out of MC4 connectors, so he just went for the old blue wire nut on his uh, on his output side. So that's a nice little added value right there. You know he did that. Start a fire, folks. Here's a little trick for you guys. Put your little ski bump on there. You're going to push the wires down a pipe. It won't get hung up. Just pop right out. This pops right out. So if you strip the wire back, put a little, just put a little radius on it. A little ski jump like that right there. When you go to push it down the pipe, it'll jump over anything instead of catching. Down at the bottom, just pops right out. That's your one trick. All right, guys. So we're still mid-install, but we got our pipes up, using their pipes, and they're pretty straight, except for that 45. And here's all the cable. We just had to pull out of there. Obviously, it was all too short. And you can't splice in line, so somebody used about 800,000 feet of PV wire. I hate it. We had to pull it all out, but I guess. I guess it's yours now, Antonio, for your system. So you always hear people say, don't use wire nuts on DC connections. These are a bunch of wire nuts that I just cut out where this guy had splices. The right thing to do is to use some kind of a power distribution block or a Polaris lug or something that has a mechanical connection, not just a twisted on wire nut. So you can see how, how white that is, the discoloration, that's probably from heat. And then look at that, that thing's starting to see some, it's probably been arcing for a little while. And uh, at some point that'll melt and cause a problem, hopefully not a fire. But a number of those wire nuts were, had that white going on. All right guys, so this little Solark just got a full rewire. And uh, we eliminated about 40 wire nuts out of the DC side. It's back up and running. Uh, did not get the chance to redo the mech room. He said he was okay with it the way it was. It's a storage room, so we're just going to leave the original guy's work here. We put in a power distribution block there in place of wire nuts. We put in another power distribution block here, and um, we eliminated all the, the eight wires he had going back he had all four strings going back and we went ahead and combined them down to the solar array i'll show you how i did that so here's the solar array totally rewired we put in uh the two imo disconnects which we always do so you can turn the solar array off rewired all the uh, solar panels you can see how everything looks symmetric now we put in clips got rid of all that uh, heavy duty torque on the wire We've got everything clipped tight. Also found a crazy wire nut connection there. We dealt with that. And uh, we got the conduit all supported coming up out of the ground. And uh, over here we can see we did the same thing with our, we got our weather head and our two strings coming off of that one. And folks, I don't know about y'all, but I've just really enjoyed listening to this pump 
It's been going out for about 10 years. Listen to the bearings wear out on this pool pump on this job. It's probably been my favorite part. So there we are. This is a power distribution block. This is one of my favorite recent discoveries. It's got the finger safe fuse holders. I'm sorry, finger safe covers. These things are just awesome for combining solar circuits. So I'm using these to combine my two solar circuits. I'm using one on the negative side as well. So I take, I've got four strings of PV. I'm combining each, I'm combining two strings here and I'm combining two strings here so that I can have a, one disconnect for the right side of the array or the east side and one for the west side. So as I talked about earlier, one of the biggest problems with this array is the shading. We put this dang thing in the shade. So one, of the, one of the things I tried to do to alleviate the shading problem was they had them wired in strings of nine all the way across. And of course the installer brought all four strings of nine all the way back to the house. What we did is we came in and we rewired this array and split it in half this way. So we've got four, or we've got five and four, and five and four, and then we do the same thing there. So the idea is that as the sun moves over the array, that's the east side, it shades these two sides that are getting most of the shading, causing the whole string to drop out. They're on the east side, and then these two sides are paralleled. So now we have we have uh, better use of the Solark's NPPT trackers. I know a lot of you guys are going to say, why not use microinverters? My answer to that is, why not put panels in the sun? So, we got this baby rewired, and this customer's been taken care of. Guys, use somebody that knows what they're doing. Get references. Find out if they've installed the system that they're proposing to install for you. If they've actually installed that system, because there's a whole lot of different solar arrays. It looked to me like these were some grid tie guys that came out here. They had some in phase in their life. They thought they were going to be able to do this, and they just they blew it. Another thing you can see they did is they used their, they ran their rails parallel with the long edge of the module. It takes almost three times the amount of rail. That's like 11 feet of rail to cover two modules you can get three modules on 122 inch stick so you could have they could have gotten three modules that much rail so this is another thing we did wrong there guys this is not how iron ridge tells you to build build their ground mounts iron ridge wants you to they would have wanted you to go four up or three up one two three so they these guys wasted a lot of money i don't know if you saw how much TV wire we took off. All right, they just got out here and I feel for them. But if they hadn't been out here doing it, then I wouldn't have my job. So thanks, guys, I guess. Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar signing out. Listen to that pool pump. All right, folks, we got to haul the profit up the hill. There's the profit on the job. About 800 feet of PV wire. Possibly one of the best parts about this job. The customer let me borrow his little track. Now this guy didn't get ripped off. Everything worked out. Man, that's a heavy spool wire there.